But now let's start with the action at Stamford Bridge, where Chelsea, without a win so far this season, took on Queen's Park Rangers, managed, of course, by the former Chelsea boss, Tommy Doherty. Two clubs who will be looking for a good run in the second division this season. And for Tommy Langley, it was a very special day. A fortnight ago, Tommy Langley was on the Chelsea team sheet for their opening game of the season. And then came his move to Queen's Park Rangers, and Tommy fears for a hostile reception from the disappointed Chelsea fans today. He says he's not slept too well for the worry of all, but he's getting a, a welcome there at any rate from a photographer. I think you can expect no favours today from his best chum in football, Chelsea's Clive Walker. They were almost inseparable on and off the field while they were here together at Stamford Bridge. This then is the Chelsea side. A late change, Mickey Troy, the big defender, has got slight ligament trouble in his left leg. It's an old injury and he finds it hard to play two games a week early in the season on hard grounds. Colin Pates takes his place, Colin Viljoen comes into the midfield and Colin Lee comes in up front. Queen's Park Rangers, meanwhile, well, Tommy Dockett has never fought shy of pitching youngsters into the battle, so 17-year-old Wayne Faraday is back in the attack today after a touch of flu and another 17-year-old, Warren Neal, is the substitute. Another Chelsea old boy back here today, of course, is Steve Ricks, who played over 100 league games here for Chelsea. To say nothing of Ken Shilito, puffing away at a cigarette there, who was not only a player, but also a manager here at Chelsea. And the referee today is Brian Daniels from Brentwood. And it's Queen's Park Rangers then, who kick off attacking the goal to a right in a train strip today of uh, red and white half shirts and black shorts Chelsea in all blue long throw and Wicks have gone up for it Barota with a safe catch clumsy one, I don't think it was any more intentional than that it's only 18, Gary Waddock already played three times to the Republic of Ireland Phil John with the free kick Lee with the header and Rhoda grateful to be able to hook that one away before Colin Pates came in so Fillory will take the throw, Chris Woods the Rangers keeper Played for Walker. Oh, that's played too hard for Rove. And again, Rangers, well, they came out with speed and discipline and again caught Chelsea a little bit sleepy coming out there. throw here's Langley played down there for Curry the dive of Barota foiled him Pat Curry played that ball just a little too powerfully it was a nice little chest down though by Langley Rolf oh, that's no problem except that McCreary then almost gave it away to Walker just recovered in time <laughs> And they're making trouble for themselves there, QPR. Now, Viljoen again for Chelsea. Chivers coming forward, Langley coming back at him. Oh, it'll come for Walker. No foul. And Rick slides in to make the clearance for QPR. Crowd encouraged, though, by that little flurry from Chelsea, and it's with Fillory. Faraday. And Waddock going in again, and Walker! Letting one go from a long way out, Woods couldn't hold it. A real rasping left foot shot there by Clive Walker. Made that little bit of a space for himself and hit powerfully enough for Woods not to be able to get it first time. And now Curry, McCreary. Free kick, the foul by Fillory. <laughs> 
Tony Curry played there for Langley. Just look how closely Nutton, who's marking him, has really stuck to that job well. Faraday, Waddock, and Shanks playing it in there towards Langley. Well, he's come back here and he's silenced the crowd that's booed him with a goal for QPR after 17 and a half minutes. The crowd is stunned by that. Langley's first goal for Queen's Park Rangers and it's come at the place he would want it to be and the QPR supporters are delighted with that. They're not. It was a lovely cross by Shanks. Played out wide there. Don Shanks playing it in there. Langley in there. The marking not too good. Barota came and then stopped for a moment and there's the ball in the back of the net. Tommy Langley making it Chelsea nil. Queen's Park Rangers one. Ricks with a header. Britain planting it forward again towards Clive Walker. Well, there were people who were available, and Waddock went into him in the end. And I think Gary Waddock will go and have a name taken and gets, as you see, a yellow card from referee Brian Daniels. Well, I must say, Walker was inviting that sort of. Uh, challenge it doesn't condone it by any means as what it goes in there well he was a mile away from the ball but I think that astonishes me is how it was that Clive Walker hadn't played it off before that now can Chelsea pull back that Tommy Langley goal it's with Wilkins driven a long way there and a chance there for Lee oh and he missed his kick and at the second time it was saved well by Woods well Lee missed his kick and that's not the first time that Chris Woods hasn't gathered the ball at the first go as Graham Wilkins hammers one in there from some 30 yards and it looked as, as though Lee might get that one and when he got it the second time Woods pushed it away so here's the corner with Walker taking it curling right in there Fillery and a Chelsea throw Nutton played in for Lee played on first time by Britain Wicks is there for Queen's Park Rangers Curry and he almost gave that to Lee and uh, Rhoda was able to make the repairs Shanks getting in there very forthright indeed and Langley on the chase again Nutton's there with him he's got Faraday waiting in the middle played nicely by Langley for Faraday and Langley coming in and Faraday, no! Somehow they kept it out. That was amazing. It was some tremendous play there in the first place by Tommy Langley. And it looked a surefire second goal. He's so aware that Faraday's there, pulls it back superbly for him. Chelsea make the challenge. Langley comes in there again. Somehow Barota saves it. And then it's cleared away that time by Chivers. Rhoda Curry it's David McCreary Shanks and just on side again is Wayne Featherday back for Curry space there for Waddock or for Shanks to close in on it. It's Waddock in fact who finds Shanks. Burke coming in with a little guided header now for Langley. And Curry trying to curl one and Barota turning it away. Tony Curry's speciality of course. Balls hit with a curl and there with the outside of the right boot curling around the Chelsea defender that would have just gone inside the post but for the dive of Barota. So Rangers with a corner which Curry will take. Wayne Faraday, the number seven, going across there also. Now it's with Curry again. Let Rangers get the throw. Good one 
throw there again, but nothing getting there for Chelsea. Walker, but what up there. Nice little touch there by Burke, but what up presenting Chelsea with a goal kick. Growth. Nettles get through for Woods. McCreary. Shanks. trying to do a dummy there and uh, quite rightly getting a free kick it was obstruction by Ian Gillard well spotted by the referee and it's with Ian Britton cleared by McCreary Britton again doing so much running little Ian Britton number seven here to try and get his side going and Rolf didn't quite get the offside track there his run wasn't quite timed, but that's maybe the way to do it, is to get somebody from deep to make a well-timed run. As the ball was played, in fact, it wasn't Rofe offside, it was someone trying to come back from an, uh, an offside position. Rofe was perfectly OK. What a, it's a touch for Burke. And uh, that's Rofe just flicking that wide of Langley for the Rangers' throw. Shanks with the throw, here's Curry, he could cause mischief in that sort of position and uh, he just got that up and away, but there's Waddock and a great save there by Garota from Gary Waddock yeah, they really haven't done all that well in defence and the challenge by Roder a little too fierce on Lee and he's almost wrestled to the floor there by Glenn Roder being given a few words of advice by Tony Curry but I think the referee will also want to have a word with uh, Glenn Rhoda just to calm it down but let's have a look at that uh, save by Barota Curry did so well that wasn't a very good headed clearance and Waddock really took advantage of that situation hit it superbly what a good piece of keeping and here come Rangers again as Curry tries to get Langley on his way certainly Langley has caused this Chelsea defence a little bit of trouble he's always been a great runner I think in a way it's sad that the fans have been booing him today because he ran his legs off here for Chelsea for a number of seasons a real wholehearted player and here's Langley again oh and another good piece of keeping there by Barota as Langley whipped round on that one and got it down by the post and he's turning on the ball and giving himself half a chance all the time Tommy Langley Rofe. at Queen's Park Rangers have a really good record against Chelsea it's Chelsea have won only one of the last 10 league games these two clubs have played and in fact it was a 2-0 victory here for QPR at the beginning of April that really in many ways killed off that was the one vital result that killed off Chelsea's promotion prospects and here they are leading at half time by a goal to nil and the storybook quality of the first half is of course that it was Tommy Langley only a fortnight ago a Chelsea player who scored the only goal with that header got a fair amount of booing from the crowd and I suppose he would say that's the best way to answer them so the half-time score then here at Stamford Bridge is Chelsea nil, Queen's Park Rangers 1 so Chelsea get us away at the start of the second half anxious to make good the goal that Tommy Langley scored for QPR in the first half I think one of the things they've got to do straight away is to get some of their midfield men in more forward attacking positions in the way that Curry and young Gary Waddock and Don Shanks have been doing in the first half for Queen's Park Rangers 
and certainly Ian Britton is one man who will need to inspire his Chelsea team during the next 45 minutes. Langley off once more and that time it was Colin Pates but it's Waddock playing the ball through for Faraday and he quickly thought that he would just chest it down. That was a good bit of thinking by the 17 year old. Now the ball with Langley again. He's gone past Rove. A good cross called for Faraday trying to get on the end of it. Burke is right in there. Chelsea were in a bit of a muddle there for a moment and uh, they get it away now to Graham Wilkins. Walker who's got the dash and the verve up front to save them if only he can uh, find the right sort of run and the right sort of service <laughs> Colin Bildrian with the throw here's Wilkins played in a game for Walker a little touch by him for Britain and Gillard bringing him down a free kick to, Cuba, to uh, Chelsea towards Lee and a great save there by Chris Woods from Ian Britton well that was a case of a midfielder getting into a good shooting position and uh, Woods was equal to it so that's why it's a corner cross there and Wicks getting it away crossed in there by Graham Wilkins and they didn't make a very good fist at getting this away Rangers to be honest it wasn't a very good header fell invitingly and hit on the volley there by Gary Chivers 1-1 well that will really open up the game now through the midfield there finding Shanks on the far side played in forward again towards Langley oh my word and he's missed it and Barota you can see the goalkeeper there absolutely furious there with his defender Mickey Nutton and certainly out of nothing it suddenly looked as though Queen's Park Rangers another got a beautiful opening for a second goal as Langley went in there past Barota past Nutton but also past the post Chivers, the goal scorer, played wide for Rove. There's a bit more urgency about Chelsea now in this second half, as there needed to be. And a fall for Stephen Burke. Young winger from Nottingham Forest, he had a lot of pace to him, and he lost his way a little bit there, and then gives it to Britain. Played inside for Fillery. Walker's up there supporting him, and Lee's up there too. Fillery with the shot, and he might get another one. Now playing it to Walker, onto the left foot somehow right at the last it was Shanks who got back there to clear the lines for QPR and that's got him shouting again up there in the shed and certainly Chelsea looked to be in a good possession when the ball suddenly found itself on the left foot of Clive Walker but a good piece of defence by Don Shanks in the corner for Chelsea Colin Viljoen with it played in low there and he'll get another go a little more height on that one. Wicks getting it away, but not very far. Lee turning it back there, but a goal kick. So it's a good atmosphere. And a promising conclusion to this game with 10 minutes of the second half gone and Chelsea back at 1 1.
had a break by Langley at one end that looked as though it must bring a second goal and suddenly Walker too high for Wicks and look how well he timed his run a bit of acceleration there took it well as Woods came out but why do the goal Wilkins back to Barota Conan Lee, as everybody remembers, scored four goals in his first game at Tottenham. That was against Bristol Rovers. And that's a free kick to Chelsea. So the wall is there. That's the view of Chris Woods. Phil John behind this free kick. And hit superbly! Well, the man who a week ago wanted a transfer is now embraced by his goalkeeper and club captain who ran nearly half the length of the field to say, well done, what an amazing free kick. But no, as this slow motion, as we see again now, is an indirect free kick. And Viljoen hits it straight into the net, so it's been disallowed. Still 1-1. And Stephen Burke's going off for Queen's Park Rangers are bringing on their substitute, Warren Neal. There goes Burke. On the far side there, the 17-year-old substitute, Warren Neal, for Queen's Park Rangers. Waddock playing it in there for Langley. Nicked on there for Wayne Faraday, the 17-year-old. But surrounded by Chelsea men, still gets his shot in. as though suddenly it was going to come for the young Birmingham boy. Turn and shot, but screwed it wide right of the road And Chelsea are taking off Clive Walker. A few boos from the crowd for that, bringing on John Bumstead. QPR sensing that there are just a few seconds remaining with the crowd flooding away now. But the point is theirs. This is a blatant bit of time wasting now. Wicks finding Gillard. Planted forward again as the final whistle goes. It's a 1 1 draw. Tommy Langley having scored for Queen's Park Rangers in the first half. And Rangers, I suppose, will be happy with an away point. It also means that Chelsea, there's Tommy Langley. It means also, of course, that Chelsea have still to register their first win of the season, but at least that goal in the second half from Gary Chivers provided them with a point at least. So a final score then here at Stamford Bridge. Chelsea 1, Queen's Park Rangers 1.